Alright, what is up guys? We are back on, what is today? Thursday day. Thursday day. Thursday night. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm excited to get back into this one. I know last night we had our first ever way back Wednesday. That uh, went pretty well. It was always good playing um, a game from my childhood. Speaking of games from my childhood, we got this one though. And this is the one that we're going to be focusing on for right now. I'm going to be doing, uh, I was kind of talking about it in the opening, and let me know how audio is as well. That's what we need to do, yeah, that's, we'll talk about that in a little bit, that'll, that'll, we'll save that for a little bit later on in the stream, but, um, we're going to be doing some pretty insane strategies today, and I don't even know where to start, honestly. Uh, let's start with a little bit more monster grinding, we'll do... We'll probably, well, well, let's grind for like 10 more minutes, um, with the whole Tidus killing everything. So what we have on the record today, as you guys know, I always love to do this, is first what we're going to do is do a little bit of monster grinding with Tidus, um, just get his kills up so that way Don Tonberry's, uh, karma hits us for a little bit more. I thought I had to sneeze. Jesus, I hate that feeling. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and kill a little bit more just to make sure that Don Tonberry's karma is going to hit us for a little bit more. And by a little bit more, we're talking like 500,000 more. And then after that, we're going to go and do a little bit of the Doors to Tomorrow Tetra Shield farming. Uh, get I, I Man, we're going to have to get some gill. From there, what we're going to do is go to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Uh, you guys will remember that as where we got Yojimbo. And we are going to bribe using Riku, who I believe should have bribed. We're gonna bribe him 200 gil, 200,000, 200,000 gil. Um, does she have bribe? You're lying to me right now. Where's bribe? I don't even know which. Bribe, bribe, bribe. Mug? No. I don't remember Riku getting bribe at the end. All right, you know what? Modern problems require modern solutions. We're gonna go ahead and use a return sphere. Return Lulu right here. And use our level three key sphere, which I guess we don't have. You know, we're off to a start tonight. Um. Okay, hold on. Thank you for letting me know about that. Uh. Mike should be a little bit better now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is um, get a level 3 key sphere. Because we're not going to be able to level... Uh, eh, if we do the Don Tonberry shot with Riku, but that's that's a little bit of a waste. Um, we'll have to get level 3 key spheres. And we're going to need to get bribe. And then uh, it's pretty much easy from that. So what, how bribe works is that you use gill and you basically throw it at enemies. If they accept the bribe, then they give you items in return. You can seriously just you could there's a there's definitely a way to go in and spam uh, some pretty powerful stuff. If I remember correctly. That Defender Z actually drops them. I don't know the odds of fighting against Defender Z, but Tidus can pretty much hit him in, in three hits and will be good.
The Behemoth King also works. Uh, is my voice better, by the way? It's gonna be Behemoth King and Defender Z, and we just need to get a level 3 key sphere. And then we also need to get every enemy to be caught in the Thunder Plains. Alright, that should be enough for, uh, for Titus's grinding. I don't, I don't see us as not being at least at like 900,000 damage by now. Let's go ahead and just end it off with one more okay, energy rain. Hopefully we can go ahead and get a Blitz Ace coming up pretty soon. Now we're kind of at a crossroads. We can go ahead and, and use just luck, chance, and try and fight against a Defender Z. Um, which is what we're probably going to end up doing. First off though, let's let's go to the Thunder Plains. Oh, that's a misclick. Oh well. We obviously don't need a level one key sphere, that'd be useless anyways. Uh, and we're gonna catch one of every monster. After we do that. Uh, the, the monster arena guy is going to go ahead and give us um, chocobo wings. Chocobo wings allow you to get auto haste. Obviously the that's absolutely huge for for us in Don Tonberry farming. Um, where are you Thunder Plains? There you are. The enemies here are pretty easy to fight, especially now that, that Tidus is what we call absolutely broken. And then we'll, we could do the, uh, mon the gill farm after. So the uh, big reminder here is that... Okay, we just have to capture these enemies. We don't... And it's just one of every. We don't gotta do, you know, everything in its mother here. Um, we don't have to catch 10 of everything, we don't have to go anything, like, I seriously think we're done. I think maybe there's one more thing. You can't fight Cactars here. That Tita's damage is just insane. Um, let me see here. I want to make sure we have an actual list before we go in. Yeah, we're missing, we're only missing, oh, okay, never mind, you can actually fight against Cactars here, a uh, very low percent, oh god, not this again, very low percent chance, uh, but so is the Iron Giant, I don't know why we're fighting so many of those, let's go ahead and head over to the first spot, I know that there's a huge difference in, in monster rates, um, from from spot to spot, I don't know where the cactar is going to be. So there's the larva. We need. We had to get him for sure. We got the gold elements already. So now we're missing the really weird flying thing. We're missing the iguana-looking thing, and we're missing the cactar. Uh, the iguana thing is found more towards the opening part, like where you first enter the thunder plains. And the cactar, like I said, I don't know where that is, and I also don't know why we're, why we keep fighting ten larva. There we go, okay. So there is that iguana thing, there's the flying thing, and there's another one of that. Uh, the challenge now is going to be actually finding the cactar. Where would it... I know that we... Oh my god. I know that we... That we we got the spirit lance already. This is gonna tick me off. Ha! Uh, I know that we got the spirit the spirit lance, but I don't know how. Oh, they they spawn by. Okay, I guess they spawn right by the thing. Okay, that was really lucky. All right, we're done with the thunder planes now. That was easy. 
back to uh, Monster Arena we go. We're going to go ahead and get auto haste for Titus. So what auto haste does is uh, it's quite literally in the name. But I know it amazes me just because of how broken it is. Whenever the character starts, the, the whole entire battle he has haste on. He or she, I should say. That's what auto haste does. There's no MP that is taken from you. There is literally nothing. You just have haste and that is it. So you could see where this is going to be important because we're going to want to deal as many hits to Don Tonberry as possible. In a short amount of time, you have auto haste, then you're good to go. Uh, every time that he kills Titus, he could just get right back up. And then there's the chocobo wing that we needed to get. So from here... I don't think we have anything else, do we? Yeah, nothing special. Uh, we're going to go ahead and customize and give Titus the... We have so many things. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him... Where is Titus's Tetra Shield? Auto haste. There you are. It's 80 Chocobo Wings. Quite a bit, right? Worth it, though. Um, that is that haste shield is just broken, broken. Uh, so now Titus will uh, constantly, no matter what, be on haste. Thus begins the beginning of absolutely breaking this game from here let's go ahead and do we can do a little bit of guild farming um, the final show well let's do that let's do a little bit of guild farming real quick Uh, let's go ahead and sell any of the other stuff that we have, like, way too much of. I'm pretty sure that we've already gotten, like... We could just sell a whole bunch of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is just, we could customize it. Let's do some Tetra Shield farming. How many? Wow, we freed up a lot of space. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to HP 30. Where are you? There we go. It's like changes every time I jump a menu, geez. All right, so um, I guess now that we're doing brainlet stuff, I, I wanna talk about something that is in the works right now. And uh, it was going to be a surprise, but now is the best time ever to talk about it, as we're just, like I said, doing pointless activities. Um, I decided on making a new Twitch category, and it is called Non-Esport Esport. So me and a buddy of mine were talking uh, about the baseball playoffs, and... He was talking about how if, uh, quote unquote, if Mario Superstar Baseball was around back in the day, like, in, and had net play, he would be, uh, he would be the ninja of Mario Baseball. And I tell him, I would be 
you know, if you're the ninja of Mario Superstar Baseball, I'm going to be the Tyler one of it. There's just absolutely no way that we lose, you know? So we have a laugh, you know, talking about uh, just, you know, old old nostalgic stuff with it, and which this channel has, has definitely, my, my Twitch channel and YouTube have, have definitely come to talk about quite a bit is, is this idea of nostalgia. So we uh, started laughing about it, and he's like, you know, well, what if they did have that back in the day? It'd be pretty epic. And I was like, you know what? We shouldn't just keep it in the past. Why don't we go ahead and try it today? So... I got, uh, sure enough, I got all my friends a little old copy of Mario Superstar Baseball. I uh, went through and set it all up today, and all of us now have Mario Superstar Baseball. I had them do a little bit of work to go ahead and get Netplay active, and it works. Um, so, we... I We haven't really set a date for it yet, but we are going to start streaming... Mario Baseball. We have, we, you guys. This is, this is game-breaking stuff here. We have, we have rosters. We have a draft. We have teams. We have commentators. We have everything. It is, like I said, it is, it is a great start to what is Twitch's first ever non-esport esport. So. Uh, we don't know when it's going to be set up. We still need to get all the teams set and do the actual draft. We just kind of had it all an idea today. And we have a lot of people with rosters. We could probably mess around and do Mario Kart. Um, right now, we just, we're going to keep it at Mario Super Slope Star Baseball. I think it's the game title. And uh, we're probably going to move to like the, the soccer one. It'll be it'll be filled with laughs. It'll be it'll be good. I promise it'll be good. Um, and yeah, that'll be coming up soon for you guys. So that'll be uh, that'll be a a band fested events. So we don't know how long we're gonna do it. It'll be um, every um probably every Sunday or, or whatever. We haven't really set like an exact date. Oh, Garfield Kart. Competitive Garfield Kart. We could make an eSport out of that. I think we're, the like, on the off days that we're not playing Final Fantasy, we're gonna definitely be trying to make an eSport out of everything that should not become an eSport. Simple as. Alright. Uh, Defender Z. How I am not excited for this, you guys. Tita should be able to actually do some damage now. Considering how I'm like... We've leveled him up quite a bit, lads. This this might be good. This just might be good. Alrighty. Give it to us, Defender Z. Not Defender Z. Let's see. Oh my god. That auto haste. That's not fair. That's just not fair. Do the. Oh, here's the Defender Z. Alright, let's. Uh, let's hope that he drops a uh, level 3 key sphere. Oh! I saw a key sphere and I was like, oh yes! And it wasn't what we needed. Maybe next time. This is where Blitz Ace would just pop off. Come on, level three key sphere. Come on, give it to us. Give it to us. Well, um, this is a really good spot to find level two ones, I guess. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this, um, the level the level two one is probably a lot more common. This is a good spot for fighting them, though. 
We only need one. And then we can go back to Dontonbury farming. We could at least go ahead and get a, uh, a good, cons like, just a good idea, a rough estimate of how much our grinding on Besaid actually paid off to see if uh, Titus actually can get hit with, like, 100k. Of course, if, if that's the case, then we're set. Level 3, come on. Let's go, you guys! Let's go! Okay. Next up, we just have to level up Lulu a single time. In order for that to happen, she actually has to move. She leveled up from that, and we got six ability spheres. Are you kidding? Alright. Now that Lulu has bribed, now Riku's supposed to have that, but... Hey, what could I say? Um... Except you're welcome. Thank you, Lulu, for getting that. That is all we need. We are going to sacrifice 200,000 gil right the now. Final show and this is provided that we actually get to fight the monster that we're looking for. But... I think Mount Gagazette will be the yeah. fastest way to actually go. Um, so yeah, we will be sacrificing a little bit of gil but we will get auto phoenix and we could also just go ahead and do the tetra shield thing like 75 more times or whatever so we're we're fine we're we're going um we the ghost was really really rare last time i don't think we have 10 of everything here so i'm going to actually turn on our weapons for doing so as much as Calibog is amazing. Yeah, see, that's brutal when we get countered with that. Um, I, I, we need, we... I, I can't say anything because so it's really my own fault. Just making Tidus as broken as what he is. I thought we were going to get one there. So broken, you guys. Oh, I thought we were gonna get it there too. Anytime there's like a little bit of lag, I'm like, oh, we got it. All right. Well, at least we're for sure getting ten of all of these things. And uh, Waka is also going to be getting his limit break chance a little bit faster. So the ghost that we're looking for is uh, a little bit more interesting of an, op of an opponent because as Jif was talking about a little bit earlier on uh, this week, Every monster in this game has a chance of spawning at a certain location. Some locations are more so than others. So, like the um, prime example, right, would be um, the Malboros and the Comland spawn a lot more commonly at the northwest than they do anywhere else. That'd be like an, my, my example that I would be uh, using. Their capture limit's already been reached. Nice. Now, the ghost is a little bit more special in the sense that it doesn't spawn in a specific location as opposed to really everywhere in the whole entire cavern. Um, I'm also not going to risk it against any of the magic pots. We don't really have a reason to do so. Oh, nice! Okay. So, if I remember correctly, all we have to do is bribe 200,000 gil. We saved, right? I think it's 200,000. Yes, it is. Okay. 
Perfect. Um, so we did lose that, but that's okay. Like I said, we can get that back easy peasy. From here, we're going to go ahead and get Waka's Glorious Arm Guard and Orin's... Orin's nothing. Jeez. I guess Orin's... Orin's Bright Bracer. And we're going to give them Auto Phoenix. Honestly, I think we're chilling actually. Only Walker needs it. Only one person needs it. Um, and let's go back to Don Tonberry. And let's see if Titus's grinding paid off. I hope we're at least hitting 900,000. I know we haven't really fought that many times in this game, and even in 10 minutes on times 4, killing 3 enemies every like 10 seconds, uh, you've got to just think that we've got to be getting there. Uh, let's turn on our special weapons. Rookie Star, I think his is the Lionheart. Or it is the Nameless. And Titus is going to get... What was his? Titus's was the lion art. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and save behind. If we need... Now we're really in the end game. Um, if needed, we can go back and fight against enemies at... Um, what's it called? Besaid. All right, let's see, guys. I'm hoping for I'm hoping for high 900s. Even 900 itself would be pretty nice. 65. So we still have a little bit more work to do. Uh, here comes Phoenix down. Walk is going to defend. Once again, Phoenix down. We can get away with it probably one more time. Oh, I needed to change. Oh, this isn't. This battle means moot. I I didn't change their um, their what's it called. Uh, they still leveled up. Can we buy Phoenix Downs from this gentleman? We're gonna buy them. I forgot to change their overdrive modes. Comrade, his needs to be stoic. Alright, so it looks like we still need to do quite a bit more grinding on Besaid. But hey, might as well just go off right now. We need to get Titus' speed up. Let's flee after that. He leveled up 20 times. Love to see it. Alright, let's, uh... Let's level them up. I'm surprised we have 99 ability spheres. That is... That is wondrous right there. Another thing to you guys that I did not mention is that um, this game has a lot of super bosses. So for those of you guys that thought the Omega weapon was high feet, uh, this game has a lot of them. I know Penance is the one that people talk about the most, but there are so many super bosses in this game. And uh, we are almost uh, reaching that point where we are going to be able to at least fight the first ones. The ones that aren't so difficult. Of course, we're not actually like there yet. That's a level 3 one, isn't it? Uh, I should probably farm Defender Z a little bit more. 
We can lay off for now. We can just get return spheres later. What, what is this? I'm never going to be able to find out. Quick pockets. Are we going down Riku's now? I will say this. When the sphere grid is done, it looks really pretty. Let's get that Tita's agility up. That can't be right. There's no way Tidus is uh, finished Unisphere Grid that fast. Let me see. Oh, wow. That's Unisphere Grid. Okay. Yeah, as you guys can see, we have a little bit more leveling up to go. What is blocking Orin's is a... Uh, so level three, one. Do we have a level four? We do. We have two of them. We could go ahead and farm up on. Um, Level three spheres. Wow. Okay, so that's the end of Orin's. We need to go ahead and get some level three spheres. And we need to go back and fight the Defender Z. Let's go ahead and level them up, though. We can get them to a 99 sphere level easy. Now that's the T to speed that we were looking for. We can definitely hit him again. This next one we're gonna flee. Another 20, 22 levels from Titus. What is this game? Let's go down through here for the sphere grid. My goal is to get Tidus's up to Orin's. And my reasoning behind that is, I think oh, Tidus needs that HP and uh, defense right now. I think we're coming into to Lulu's Sphere Grid right now. Yeah, we're finishing up Riku's because Mug. Uh, we go down here and then we go right over to Lulu's, yeah. Man, I didn't even have to really waste anything with that. We can get... Uh, what's his name? Titus is about to finish Lu or Riku and Lulu's sphere grid before they did. Waka is about to hit a lock right now after he gets that. So we'll have to definitely go ahead and get a few more Defender Zs. Is, uh their level 3 key spheres. There we go. I was waiting. I was like, man, I hope we get a preemptive strike. And then on top of that, of course, Titus also needs to go kill quite a bit more things over at Besaid.
I think he gets allowed to, he could take one more step. Yeah. Twenty four levels that time. I might as well just keep going until we get everyone up to like ninety nine. At this point, we're like, we're, oh man, this is such a good method. This has to be the best method for leveling. I don't know so much about the other one with Gale because it's finite, but in terms of leveling, come on. Tidus is just going to be the ultimate one-man wrecking crew. It's going to be hilarious. My new strategy is I want to go and... Um, go back to the Sade when we need more spheres because then I can go ahead and kind of kill two birds with one stone and we'll get more spheres and on top of that um, Tidus will be able to, to kill more enemies causing Karma to do quite a bit much more. Alright, we are now in Lulu's sphere grid. I, I feel like Titus has gotten a whole bunch of health uh, level ups as of late. Help is hitting now. Alright, there's level 2 magic for Tidus now. This is uh, going to be a lot building his magic defense. Which I'm not too keen on. Like, it's cool. I don't got a problem with it. But HP, strength, speed, evasion, that's what we're going for with him. Let's look at those stats. 80, almost 8200 HP. Strength is hitting 76. Um, agility is almost at 100. And he's got almost every bit of white magic in the game. That is not shabby at all. Oh my goodness. Oh, this XP that we're going to get from this is just going to be gross. Take one more step, right? No, you can't. I am worried. I have twenty five levels for Tidus. Twenty five. You guys want to see how much work we've got done? And we skipped off a lot uh, that. And then. Uh, we'll go back to that.
I'm just more focused on getting into this one. We one right and then once you did we miss yeah another thing too that's important to know is like I was saying the ability to return and just how much easier it is in general just to navigate having every, at least a stake in every person Just imagine you guys when we get the triple AP weapons from one eye. What this is gonna look like. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. Uh, we definitely gotta get Blitz Ace though. We get TC even more than that before we do that. We should also probably start utilizing the unit. Also without uh, triple overdrive. That's just those are just disgusting numbers, honestly. I fear, I fear you guys. I feel for the safety of the super bosses in this game. They're not gonna be having a good time. I, I couldn't even imagine doing this game without using the Dark Tom Raider trick. I don't know if any of you guys have tried doing so, but I I was watching the completionist complete this game, uh, and he talks about this, this trick a little bit in the video, and he says pretty much the same thing I do. I don't know how they nice brand to strike. I don't know how in the world anyone can play this game without using the trick. Expert sphere grid and not do this Don Tonberry trick. The amount of hours that that would take, just from random like fighting in Xanarkand or whatever, it'd just be insanity, you guys. Zanarkin Ruins now. Let's go to Zanarkin Ruins and fight against some Defender Z's. After that, we could also go to the Sade. Go ahead and just get some easy more kills for the Tidus. And focus a little bit more on some spheres. A lot of you guys may be wondering, when am I going to feel comfortable in a fight against one eye or a triple AP? And that, honestly, I, uh, I don't really have a fair answer to that question. As, as sucky as 
episode. I don't. And the reason behind that is, simply put, I I hate fighting one eye. The one eye is a really annoying fight. Uh. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. But yeah, the one eye is a super annoying fight, and I don't know when I'm gonna actually feel comfortable enough to fight against him. I know for sure. I I think the the place that I'm gonna do now is when we have maxed Titus's o or when we have met with Titus maxing Orin's sphere grid. I, th I I think that'll be a good safe spot for it, and. Uh, on top of that, we'll be leveled enough to do so. I want to also get Blitz Ace first off. And yeah, we could definitely do some monster monster hunting though. Uh, level 3, Flare. Tidus is going to learn Flare. Uh, we're going to go through here. And then this puts us into orange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we need to get a lot of level 3s though. Alright. Titus is so broken right now. Titus is so broken right now. Let's go over to the Xanarkand Ruins and... We'll, uh... The final show see if we can't get ourselves, bag ourselves a few level 3 spheres. I, I would hope too that Walk is starting to get edge ever closer to 250 battles with the attack reels. I want to get world champion and I want to get the Masamune completely up and ready. All right, we're gonna kill stuff really fast. Okay, there's one. There's two. He's just hitting 20k a hit, and he's just... Okay, Defender Z. See what you got. He's going to be hitting max HP soon. We don't have the Shaman gear that will allow us to even break max HP, but that's a thing. 21k. Alright, level 3. Level two, two level twos. I'm gonna go ahead and take his off of Stoic for right now. I no, it doesn't. It doesn't just like automatically adjust. It's a, it's a certain item that you have to add on to a shield. But like let's say our max HP is like 700 or 70k. Once we get that item, our HP will go to 70k. It's just that we've got to get there. Uh, it's all or nothing. It's either you break the cap or you do not. With Warrior, Titus just fills that overdrive bar so fast. Okay. Saving this one for you. That sounded very robotic. I wonder if you could break the game like this in 10-2. I haven't played past like 10 minutes of that game to even give you guys an answer to that. That wasn't an overkill. Uh, right now I want to go for three level three spheres. Now I've been saving this one for you. We need to get one for Titus into. 
Chiefs into Waka, and then Oren out, uh, Oren into Tidus. Another level 2 one? Gosh, dang it. Does he have armor break? There we go, there's an overkill. But more level 2 key spheres. Uh, so as you guys have probably figured out, overkill goes and gives you more of the item. Like, if, for example, if you're supposed to get only one, um, one level 3 sphere, you get two if you overkill it. Now this is also the early game method of, of getting level 3 key spheres. In the Omega Ruins and the last dungeon, you can go ahead and, and get them pretty, pretty easily. Um, I guess we can go to the Omega Ruins? I don't really see a problem with doing that. After all, like the Mechia that we have to fight is is uh, pretty easy. I, I this guy is just only dropping the level two key spheres, so it's almost. I'm I'm just wondering if there's. Yeah, I've been saving way. this one for you. We can go ahead and try out the Omega Ruins, lads. Let's, let's do that. To get the Mars Crest, <laughs> okay. To get the Mars Crest, uh, we actually need to go to the Omega Ruins and capture some things. So this may work out for us in the better. Uh, to get the final part of the Masamune. We have to catch uh, a total of 10, you need to have a combination of 10 areas completed and 10 species completed. We have every, uh, most of the areas I should say, but we don't have a lot of the species because the final bit of species is hiding in either the Macarena area or the, the Omega Ruins. Shoot. Now the Omega Ruins has Mechia and that'll be how we're gonna get our our level 3 sphere. So you know what, I'm gonna say yeah. fork it. Go. Let's go to the secret optional super scary dungeon. What is this place? Get even a cutscene for 700 it. 700 years ago, a monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So he's here? Scared? Not a chance. Now, this place is so high level that um, you don't even get a map. If you look at the top, Oh, 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 nice. That's game. When was the last time we saved? Anyways, yeah, that place is so high level you don't get a map. Um, we hadn't saved in a long time. I'm going to use our autosave. Oh, we get to watch the cutscene again. What is this place? You don't get a map. 
Uh, I cannot stand the well, Master Tonberry's here, by the way. Um, but we're looking for the Mackie. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So he's here? Scared. Not a chance. Another thing, too, about this place I kind of want to note is. Um, the treasure chests that spawn here are all random. Take that for what you will. But it could be. These are the Machias, by the way. Hopefully, level 3 key sphere? No, 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 no. Uh, this guy is a Varuna. Let's have Riku come in. Eh, whatever. Okay, we need to capture... Where's the stake? Uh, we need to capture this thing. Oh, we got it. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna save before doing this, but I'm gonna turn on the chain sword for Titus. Oh, that might be game. That very much may be game. Oh, never mind. Oh, good lord. Karma time. Not worth fighting him. Why does he ambush us every time? Now this may be game. Um. I just wanted to go ahead and save. Okay. Why? This is actually going to get me upset. I'm going to be mad online. Those things are supposed to be a rare spawn. Maybe I'll just turn this, the spawn control. The Omega weapon's also in here. I'm gonna have Riku in, because why not? How many turns do we got? Four, three, have Riku Steel. Sometimes you can get some pretty good stuff in here. That's only a Mega Potion. Okay. It's a Machia again. Level 3 Key Sphere, baby. Alright, there's our first one. Mega Potion. I guess those are more common than what I thought. I think we also captured the eye here. Um, meaning that we can we can go for the final eye at Macarena. Tidus just keeps leveling up. I'm going to go ahead and just use the sphere here. We still need to get two more, I understand. We're not maybe not doing that. Uh, uh, 
but for sure this is a time of us doing many a thing. Defender Z! No! I don't want to fight against Defender Z. Now that I think about it, there may be one other monster that we have to fight on our ways to get one eye. Oh wow, that hit! too bad. Alright, let's get let's get us some come on. No. I wonder if I capture them. If I don't have as much of a Why did is it just an ambush every time? This is actually going to take me off. We didn't save after we got our first one, huh? God dang it. This is so annoying. Well, so much for my great idea. Of course we keep getting screwed though. Why not? It's Final Fantasy X. We always get screwed. Um I don't think this will be my test. If we don't if we capture him and don't get a See, I'm telling you guys, I don't I don't know if that means we captured the I Man now. Oh my god. Why is he why is that spawn so common? The Machia is supposed to be the thing that we fight the most here. And guess what? We're not getting any. We're getting Defender Z's for God's sake. We're not even getting the Machia. Um We need to capture the eye the eye man. If we want to fulfill the other the other little requisite that we have in order to get uh, Orns. We'll have to go over to Macarena. We're almost done with that one though. I think actually, I think a bomb might do it. Dude, there's no way this thing has more than 20k HP. Are you joking? There's no way it has more than, like... There's just no way. Okay, there we go. We should probably focus on getting every monster from every area. Just so that way we can get the Mercury Crest. Or, I think, or Orange Mars. I want to get a fully powered Masamune is what I'm trying to say. What the hell? An Adamantois is in this game? Let's catch let's catch it. Mr. Mr. Adamantois is having himself quite a day. 
It's not gonna do that much damage, is it? This thing's health is obscene. Are you guys loving the amount of Machias that we're getting? Because I am. Alright, let's uh, just change out with Calid Bull, just in case. Oh my god. I'm glad we just saved. Is it just like, I, I'm just wondering, all right? Riddle me this. Is, is it always a um, ambush attack? Because those rarely happen because our, our, uh, of, our stats are really high. All right, this will be the test. Oh my God, Waki, you 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 were useless. Does this give us a level three key sphere? It does. So, I'm assuming then that my theory stands true, and you don't want to capture them. You actually want to kill those things. By the way, there is no like ribbon in this game that I can use. Um, Ribbon is a Final Fantasy item that basically renders you impervious to all status. Oh my god. Status ailments. And we don't have that in this game. And I hate grinding here knowing that there's even the smallest chance that we lose, like, every time. But there's, this is the only place right now that we can go. I don't want to advance in the plot. And I mean, I guess we're going to have to. Like, there, there's, a, there's a point of no return, basically, that we can get to. But I wanted to do that after at least all ultimate weapons were, were gone. And we have to anyways because there is a uh, monster hunting to do in the final dungeon of the game. Tidus, are you joking me? Alright. Is that a, d a demon? Don't these drop it? I'm pretty sure you could bribe one of these for like... 900k? Is the number. We don't got that. Well, let's kill him. Tidus is blinded. Rambo D. I hate this game like a lot of times, and this is one of them. I just, we're not getting anywhere. This is hellish. Oh, okay. I want to catch this thing. Weapon, Tamer Sword. Something tells me that uh, the last time we did this, it cut us off. There we go. I'm going to save now, just so that way I know for a fact we have one. Alright, you know what? Fork it. Let's kill Defender Z.
give us Blitz Ace like, at the least. Can you do that for me, game? Alright, one down. Two down. Level three key sphere. Come on. Of course not. Oh great, look it, it's our friend, the Pharaoh's curse. Yay! He's gonna use Pharaoh's curse on us. Love it. It's actually okay. We could kill him before. Two months supporting my day one. Love you, Delita. Oh, thank you. Dang, that's gonna bring a that's gonna bring a tear to my eye. Thank you so much for that. I'm glad that it actually worked tonight. How, okay, how much HP do these things have? I'm gonna waste so many remedies on this. It's not even worth it. It's just gonna use breath and kill. Thank the Lord. You know what? You guys haven't seen this yet. Hold on. Share your pain with you. Are right, you guys ready? I totally just wasted Yuna for this. That's okay. Now, if uh, if we had Nirvana, and if we had um, if we had Yuna with actual good equipment, then you know this would be doing a lot more. Damage. But I'll show you guys in, in what how much it will do right now. This would do be this would the no joke be doing a hundred thousand damage a hit right now. Alright. He overkilled it? Oh wow. Thank you. He looks real happy. Uh, there's a level three key sphere. I believe that means that there needs to be one more, and then we're good. I don't ever have. We don't. We don't have to come back here until we're actually trying to do stuff. Oh, I misclicked. Wow. Random enemy using flare. All right. Um. We need to get Orin moving. He's sitting on 74 levels. See, that's not good. I mean, it's whatever. We're just going to go ahead and use him um, proportionately anyways. But we also should probably go back to Besaid here in a little bit and train up. Alright, and here comes Tidus now. In, or, I'm sorry, Orn into Tidus' is here grid. Still sitting on 68 levels. This is insane. I don't even know where to go, really. I almost just wasted a return sphere. That would not have been very good. doing the stanky like more like anima doing the let me pull a separate body underneath me that thing is terrifying it's 
Speaking of which, um, we could try and fight One Eye. I just need to get Titus up a little bit more, I think. And uh, that may be enough to do it. Can we get Anima as a pet? That's a pet I don't want to have. Can you imagine trying to walk your Anima? Yeah, absolutely not. We're only down to 29. Down to 29 power spheres now. That's insane. That's so low. And yeah, we gotta go to Besaid. You guys probably want to see me try one eye. Um, if Yuna, if Yuna was a little bit more strongly, like just more strong in, in total, we would definitely be able to just smoke one eye. The fact that she's not is a little sketchy. Like I, I it's not a guaranteed win. That's what I'm trying to say, but I mean. Let's try it tonight. Let's go ahead and try it tonight. I'm gonna take Orin completely down down to Jesus' path. We'll get him uh, accuracy and speed. It's also kind of nice to get him some of Tidus' abilities. Uh, it's just another. It's just nice in general to have another person have Hastega. Get quite a bit of speed. Also, if we take him directly down Tidus' path that Tidus is currently doing, Tidus, 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 we're able to not have to waste any level 3 or 4 spheres because we're just kind of plowing in the track that he's already made. So we don't we don't have to worry about going out of uh, our way to do so. And we used so much stuff on this sphere grid. Sphere, uh, like the HP spheres, the, the speed ones, power ones. So orange strength is going to be going up there. And that's what... He has a lot of HP and high defense right now, like he's more of our, our sentinel guy to begin with. But what he's lacking is his is his uh, his power for sure. He doesn't hit too hard, which is really upsetting. Now I think that's going to be a different story. See what I did there, Warren? Story. All right, but we got to go ahead and uh, get just one more level three sphere. And then we'll go back to Besaid. And we could do a little bit more Don Tonberry grinding. I think if we get Blitz Ace. Check this out. If if we can go and get Blitz Ace, I think we could I think one eye would be smoked. Now the question is if I think we're gonna be able to get Blitz Ace. I don't know how many times Titus has overdrived is the problem. Uh, you would think quite a bit, right? Like, we've only been using him for a large majority, but... Even if not, we could just get it really fast. I'm on Malboro Watch now, I swear. I'm sweating bullets right now, knowing that my game could be ended at any given moment. And this little thing keeps showing up. Why? This thing's trolling me. I'm waiting for that Malboro to pop up. I have a feeling we're going to get a Malboro before we get one of the, uh, what are they called? The Mechaids or something like that. Yeah, Tidus' HP is now... Sur I just wasted a Return Sphere. Oh, good lord. Whatever. Those are easy to get back. Well, not easy. Easy. Oh my god, that is... I'm in shambles. That should not have happened. Well, thank you, Base Monster Arena. We'll be able to get Too those back pretty easy. easy. We can get them in Blitzball, too. Also, Waka. What the hell? This should at least be 250 fights by now. Just, I want to see that pop up on my Blitzball screen. I don't know if it's uh, via league or tournament, though, that we can get uh, status. Oh, we just got two return spheres. Let's go. We're going to flee this. Forget everything. 
Uh, I want to save with that. We just we wasted one to get two back. I, those are good odds. <laughs> hello, you. Hello, Omega Ruins. It's my birthday today. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, capture this thing. Oh, nice single hit. Thank you for the absolutely pointless level one key sphere. Very appreciated. I am flying through these menus at an uncomfortably fast rate. Alright, energy... Oh my god! What is up with my misclicks tonight, lads? Let's, we have, let's roll the Final Fantasy it. Let's catch it. At this point, I'm okay if we lose. Like, we haven't gotten anything of value. We don't... The level 1 key sphere thing is just an absolute joke. Ah! I just want Blitz Ace already. The amount of damage that will do. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Still no Blitz Ace? Of course not. Oh, here we go! Let's get it! Tetis impervious now and ambushed again. How is this fair, man? We have like nine turns before the enemy has one. Six K. Are you kidding me? This guy wants more again. No, 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 he's somebody get out of it. Somebody get out of it. Orin, you legend. I think if we escape, yes, no matter what, we don't die. Orin, you goat. Bye, Eric. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm actually going to be on vacation tomorrow, so... Check this out. We'll be back Sunday. Um, we'll see if we'll be streaming our Mario Baseball League. All right. Still no Blitz Ace? No, not yet. I like how we're fighting against like actual demons. Yeah, and I'll be sure I'll be sure to hit you up, man. Um, we're fighting actual demons, and I'm ready. Like, look at we're going against the Adamantoys, one of the most esteemed defense. Uh, defensive oriented and like scary monsters in the Final Fantasy series and then you see a Tonberry which is just like a little a little slime with a with a knife and we're, we're fighting these things head-on I see the Tonberry and I run away from it that is that is the exact response that Square wanted to have with these in mind by the way I don't know how true that bit of trivia is but in Dissidia 12 Duo Decim, when we play that, it will make more sense um, from what I'm saying right now. There is a, like, a little mail thing that you can do. <laughs> yeah, slime. Uh, there's a mail thing that you can do every, every IRL day, and it gives you, like, little Moogle points that you could buy songs or uh, characters different clothing, like um, Cloud and Adamant Children. Or Nibelheim Incident, Tifa, that kind of stuff. And they gave you like little bits of trivia. It's really, really cool. Like it, it's just a cool little thing that they did. Um, and if you answer the trivia right, then you get more points. Or there's different dialogue options that you could have with the Moogles who mail you, blah, 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 blah. 
Some of them are like just different situational questions like I am fighting against a Garuda, what job class should I be? And of course the answer is Dragoon because uh, Garudas are statistically more susceptible to jump damage. Just stuff like that, you know. Um, stuff stuff that fans of the series will, will easily, easily pick up on and it's just a really cool component of the game. One of the questions that you can get, which is I guess a rare one because I remember only getting it a few times and I've played Doodle Death. Oh goodness, I've played that game too many times to count. Uh, one of them is like how was the Tonberry made or why was the Tonberry made? And the answer and uh, like I, this is a square license game, so maybe it is true is that they wanted to make the most dangerous enemy look the cutest so that way when you want to attack it uh, it would just just kill you in just a, a hit. So it's really interesting. I, I think that's that's pretty funny. I don't know any other franchises where that is a thing. Like where one of the cute monsters is actually the the mastermind behind everything. Like the Tonberry is the final. Well, I've been saving this one for you. I think even Dragon Quest, like the slimes or whatever. I'm going to bring that game up quite a bit now that I've been playing Dragon Quest XI. Oh, and I beat Dragon Quest One for the first time today. Uh, that is something that I did today. Actually, it was in my car waiting for my class to start. I have a two-hour drive to go to, to my my law school. Um, and uh, I get there super early. So it's like an hour and a half to two-hour drive, let's say. I get there really early because I, I leave... Um, Oh, please give us that level 3 key sphere. Two of them! Two of them! Let's go! I, uh, I get, I leave super early. So, I was in my car today, and I was like, you know... Why don't I finish Dragon Quest? I've been working on it quite a bit. And I was like, you know, I think it'd be kind of fun. So I leveled up to level 20. The first Dragon Quest level cap is 30, I think. I think it was some really oddly, like just a number, like why is that the level cap number? Uh, it is 30, okay. And yeah, I was like, hey, I could do this. So I did. I actually got a critical hit on the final boss, which a critical hit is very, very rare in Dragon Quest 1. Now, that game was made in 1986, so it is very dated, to say the least. Uh, but the critical hit chance, believe it or not, is the same chance of us getting that whole Phoenix thing, for those of you guys that were here for the uh, Final Fantasy VIII Remaster 100%. When we got the Phoenix, it was a 1.6% chance of happening. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, by the way, if you ever if you ever want to see me absolutely lose it, that is uh, that is a video. It's on my it's on my YouTube channel. I need to I don't know how to navigate YouTube too well, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I need to put that as like my my video because uh, that is me at my prime right there. And uh, yeah, the critical hit chance is the same, about 1.6 percent, which is just those odds are are terrible terrible so you can imagine when I uh, hit that critical hit to uh, beat the game I was pretty content with myself now the 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 question of the day is would I have beaten the game if I didn't get that critical hit the answer is probably it just helped a lot um, and the the ending was very simple. I wouldn't expect like some Final Fantasy Tactics beautifully handcrafted masterclass goat ending. But uh you know Final Fantasy 1's ending oh we haven't played that yet, huh? I, I can't I can't spoil it. Final Fantasy's Final Fantasy 1 ending is is very kind of surprising and like almost melancholy. 
I've heard people on discussions and forums say that Final Fantasy 1 has one of the most depressing endings in the series. And many people could argue that, uh, depending on what you're fighting for. It has a very, like, kind of subverted ending, if you will. Did we get Floating Death? We did. We didn't get anything from Mount Gagazet. Uh, we got everything from Buchanan. We got everything from Kilika, me and High Road. Jose and Macarena we need to do. We need 10 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Are you serious? Alright, let's go to Macalania. That's super easy anyways. Especially now with how broken we are. Oh, so yeah, the ending of Final Fantasy 1 can definitely be argued as a little bit melancholic. Dragon Quest 1 ending is um, if you chose to save the princess, which you, you don't have to do, which just kind of makes the game a little bit easier with an item that she gives you. Uh, if you choose on saving the princess, she comes up to you at the end of the game and asks, Can you... Will you, I'm sorry, will you marry me is what she asks. Now, you could say no. I I thought that was pretty funny. I guess you can go full Thought Patrol wholesale legend and say no to this, this marriage offer. Um, and I don't know what that does, like, if that changes the ending. If it even lets you do that... Like, I don't know if it's like, what? And then you just have to redo the dialogue option. I know some of those older games were a little bit like that. So, I don't know. But I thought that was pretty funny that you it even gives you the option just to say no. Like, oh, thank you so much for saving me. Will you marry me? Nah. But like I said, I don't know. I just chose yes because I felt like it would be like the most... Just the decision that makes the most sense, um, and I think that's also the canon decision because in Dragon Quest two II and three, I like I think one of the characters is a descendant of the person from Dragon Quest one. Don't quote me on that. I'm so new to that series. I'm just having fun with it, and having fun I am though. Having fun I am. Those games are very enjoyable. When I was in like middle, ele late late elementary, middle school, like 6th, 7th grade, I had a friend of mine who, like, I've been a Final Fantasy fan since you guys know, since I was like in 5th grade. I was absolute young gun. Uh, one of my friends was a huge Dragon Quest fan. And I, like, let him borrow a lot of my Final Fantasy games, like 7 and 10 and whatnot. Um, three even when that came out on the DS. And he had was it Dragon Quest seven or eight on the on the DS. I may have been both. I don't remember which one it was. Regardless, um, this lad would I you know, I wanted to play Dragon Quest when I was a kid, because it was a Square Enix game. And you know, hey, why not? Right? Um, and my friend was like absolutely not for it. Um, and he it, he loved that game so much like he wouldn't let anyone get it. It was seriously, you could not get it off of his hands. Uh, he it, he treated like it was his own kid. So I never got to play it. And yeah, that uh, that, hence why it took all these years now now 20, and uh, it's the first time I've ever played Dragon Quest. To think that like that series, same thing with well, almost Final Fantasy Dragon Quest came out uh, a little bit before. To think that those games have come out 13 years before I was even born is is crazy to think about. Think just how long a series like this has been going on for. Yeah, you just honestly love to see it. Simple as. All right, so we're not finding what we need. What we need to be finding, we're looking for the snow wolf, the chimera. Oh, that's why we can't find this.
Is this a snow wolf? Okay, we have one of those, obviously. Like nine of those. Um, so I just searched it up, and I'm like, why? Why are we fighting against the same thing every ten seconds? The reason being is this is a two-part map. So we have everything from this part, but the second part we don't have everything of. Uh, by the way, we're going to get Orin's Crest after we do this. Monsters in here count two. So we need to get um, this thing. Got it. We need to get something called the Igwan or something like that. This thing. That thing. That thing. That's everything. I'm pretty sure. Let me let me do a quick list. Uh, we got the we got the snow wolf, we got the egg one, we got the wasp, we got the evil eye, we got the flam. We are missing the blue element. They're apparently inside of the woods though, and we're also missing the chimera. There is the blue element. You know, I I have really bad luck in games. Like uh, I think last night in Mario when I was when I was saying, um, oh I got these controls figured out, and then. I missed click the next set, like literally within the next second. Uh, with this, whenever I usually call out a monster, like, oh, we're missing blank, it up it spawns. I'm glad that this game's giving me a little bit more luck. So, uh, I'm calling out to you, Chimera. Hopefully, you spawn soon. Let's kill this one with an energy ring. Try and get Blitz Ace. So, Orin's Moss Immune will be given to, like, a fully completed Moss Immune will be given to us after this, after we go and get this, uh, Chimera. Oh, no, I do not want to start this. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I do. Well, let me capture it. No, it does. Yeah! Yeah! That's right. All right. Let's get let's get out of here. Oh, monkus, I do not want to do this. Okay. Is this just the easy way to get chimeras? Honestly, is by losing at the mini game. Yeah. Yeah. T disagrees with it. This is how you get um, Kimari's sigil, by the way. More on that later. What are we missing? Did we get Lulu's? Did we get Lulu second? Um, the final showdown. Like, is her Onion Knight fully? Let's go to Calmlands and then see. Is Lulu fully powered up? Oh no. Suncrest, Sun Sigil, Moon is Yuna. Mars is Orin. This is Kamari. Mercury is Riku. Venus is Waka. What are we missing with uh, Lulu's ultimate? We dodged 200 of those in a row. We got the Onion Knight at the Temple of Baj. Um, oh, that's really easy. Did we get the one eye? How do we get the Mars Crest? I think you have to leave and come back. Hold on, did I miscount something? Um, we can go finish off Lulu's ult. There's really no reason not to. Mas Immune, hold on. The Mars Sigil is obtained as a reward from the man at the Monster Arena. In order to receive it, you need to complete a total of 10 
area or species or combination. Area or original. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. Oh, wait, we don't have any of the species conquest ones, huh? That's right, we don't. That's what this is right here. Okay. The species conquest. That's what we're missing. What is the adamantoise be considered then? Just not here? Because the um, the Omega Dungeon that we got the adamantoise, as well as the Great Malboro, are things inside the final dungeon. Not. Um, uh, not in the Omega ones. They just have a chance to spawn there. We have a little bit more to work on with that. Let's go ahead and just go to Guada Salam and get um, Lulu's part of it. I wanted to see if we could get lucky and get, uh, what's it called? The auric reels. Or the status reels, actually. The final show. <laughs> To Guado Salon we go. Uh, I'm gonna do this and then that'll probably end this. You know what? Let's go. We'll go to Mount Gagazette and we'll. I wanna see something. And then that'll end the stream tonight. A little bit early, but uh, gotta be up bright and early for my vacation tomorrow, so that'll be cool. Well, that, why was an elixir just hiding there? The far plane is over here, right? Yeah. What song plays here? It is Wandering Flame. Oh shoot! This is why I'm her still not here. the person I wanted to become. Not yet. I'll come back to let you know how things went. That's kind of Bible thump. I hope I'll bring back. Interesting. And there's, yeah, okay, cool. Trommel's even when here. When Lord Jiskel was alive, the Guado knew prosperity and honor. But now, we Guado wither and crumble. I myself could have done more to stop this. Forgive me, Lord Jiskel. Wow. Lord Jisco. Bible thump. Okay. Oh, that's really sad. At least we got that. And then let's go to Mount Gagazette. And I'm going to end up saving there tonight because I want to finish up the monster hunting there. Because <sighs> then that will give us. That'll give us what we need? Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll give us what we need. Um, wrong house. That'll give us what we need to get Orin's... Well, both the one eye, which is what we're going to use for more level grinding, and enough for Orin's uh, fully completed Masamune. I just don't know where this is at in Mount Gagazet. The final show. Not saying that we're going to be using the Spirit Lance at all, but. 
There is nothing wrong with having a fully completed ultimate weapon for each character. Can we really teleport all the way? Let's run through and see if we can't find it. Oh goodness. Wait, I think Dark Shiva is here somewhere. We would get whipped if we fought against her. I don't want to fight against her. I'll say that now and I will say it again. It see Mount Gagas had seemed so much bigger. Like Oh, there it is. Hidden. All right. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Got the first subscriber. Nice little emote to come with that, too. Uh, following and donating. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for even just viewing. I'll be back on Sunday. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I know I'm not, it's been a long, long time since I've not spoken to you guys over the weekend. Uh, but I hope you guys have a fantastic one, and I will see you back here on Sunday night. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you again.